we're going to do the introduction to the episode before each guest comes on. We're going to have three episodes that we're going to run. Um, so stay with us. It should be a pretty fun time. And again, if you're out there, we have beer and pretzels. All right, thanks. And you uh, get to see behind the scenes of what, how we record at home. So it's Kind cool. of, kind of, yeah. yes. We don't have chow here. For That's, true. That's true. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to get started. Uh, uh, Kareem, I think you should kick it off. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, this is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certification. Hey everyone, my name's Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet and developer relations. Welcome to episode 72 of DevNet Snack Minute. DevNet Snack Minute is your 10 minute weekly all things DevNet, where we talk about coding, APIs, or just some cool stuff we think you'd like to know. And the cool thing that we're gonna talk to you about today is Cisco Live with our guest, Grace uh, Francisco. Grace, Grace come on up. Yeah. We need entry music for <laughs> Grace, thank, right. you for, thank you for Hi, being Grace. on our first live episode of DevNet Snack Minute. Of course. Thanks for having me. And wouldn't be a snack minute without What's snacks. Up? <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who might have missed that episode, uh, Grace did throw a popcorn at us virtually. Uh, so we made sure she had some popcorn for a snack today. Um, so Kareem, I was kind of doing the math. Yes. And I figured out that we have been at... This will be our 23rd Cisco Live. Nope, nope, wait. Nope, 22nd. 22nd, because you didn't get a visa for one of the ones in APJC. So good job on that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our 22nd one together. But this is Grace's first. Right. First. So. First Cisco, Cisco Live, yes. First Cisco second Live. Dev, the snack minutes. That's what so I, I thought we were snack talking minute, snack but, minute. But, but first yeah. Cisco Live. And Absolutely. So I think the question, uh, the question on my mind is. Mine too. Yeah. Um, what's your impression of Cisco Live, the DevNet zone? How are you feeling? What's gotten you excited? Oh, oh my God. This is just so amazing to be here. Um, this is, the, I mean, the wealth of the learning and hands on things we have here just in the DevNet zone is. It's spectacular, and of course, you know, the autonomous car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that thing has been spectacular to have here as well. And just meeting people and, um, you know, having the opportunity to be on stage again and, you know, your IRL in real life. Yes. How crazy. Yeah, just being in real life with people has been awesome. Talking to people, having people, Kareem and I were just saying before we started that people are coming up to us and saying, thank you for your videos. Mm -hmm. You know, they're nice and short. They get me excited and aware about things, and then I can dig... Uh, dive deeper into it and really look into those topics. It's yeah, really exciting. I think Todd Nightingale this morning in his keynote said something about this being like a reunion, like nice to see people again. Yeah. It also feels like a reunion because it's been a while where we've been able to see customers and partners. This is net new, so I'm making new friends. Yeah. <laughs> so this has been awesome. That's fantastic. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. It's also lovely to see that the community is still around and still here, and we're all together again. So that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. It's, it's awesome to see all of you guys in real life. But um, Grace, I know you, had, you have a couple sessions this week. I do. You had a session this morning. I do. Uh, your session around how to continually transform your teams in the rapidly evolving climate. Um, you had an announcement, and I'd like to know a little bit more about what was session, the session was about, please. Sure. I mean, we had a really great discussion with uh, three other panelists, a partner or a customer, someone at Cisco. And you know, we were talking about diversity. And diversity has always been really important to me personally. And um, my team, and you know this, you were part of our extended family. Uh, right. We really uh, care about diversity a lot within the, the team. And we had a, a volunteer crew in my group. And uh, I just loved how they sort of took this to heart and just ran with this content series that they were driving earlier this year. It was a great way, great way to kick off the year. And, you know, as I was watching, like, the, how they modeled it and how they were talking and articulating uh, the whole thing, I said, oh, you're talking about this in agile terms. You're speaking my language. <laughs> like, this is awesome. Let's open source this. <laughs> and they were, they were like, they went for a goal. They're like, let's do this. And so that's what we announced was we decided to share the content, the content framework, the guidance, tips about recruiting speakers as part of the content series, and that's what we released on GitHub today. It's available for you to participate and contribute oh. to, use, give us feedback. Um, this is all about this cultural transformation we're all talking about uh, you know, in the industry, but also within our own group about you know, inclusivity and really embracing you know, differences and, and really helping people feel that level of belonging. We're working through some really crazy times, yeah. and this is really important stuff, and the team took this to heart, and we want to share our learnings and and practices around that, so super proud of the team. 
Yeah, Kareem had mentioned community, and it's really exciting to um, build communities that can be very diverse. Diverse backgrounds and opinions can be super helpful in actually building the community even more. Um, so we're really excited about that. Enough. Yeah, and we, so and we talked you. this morning on that panel about how diversity is so important to get into the right decisions yes. and making the right products, right? Yeah, there's Absolutely. so many things where your experience doesn't necessarily inform um, what your decision-making points could be. And so having someone else say, well, my experience was different in this way, and it's just so much better and, 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 and inclusive, really. And I'm assuming we're going to share that repo on the recording and for our live yeah, audience well, at some we'll, point. Oh, we'll, we'll yeah, make sure you got pointers. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. <laughs> Chiron now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so later today, so you've had a busy day today. You're yeah. having a busy day. Today. I've been running around everywhere. I'm getting yeah, yeah. good exercise, even though I'm not in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> so you have an innovate or an I talk, I innovation talk, right? Yes. And I want to make sure I get the title right. It's uh, living on the edge from developers to ops. Can you? I know you haven't given it yet, but can you give us a little bit of a sneak peek into that? Oh goodness, I don't know. <laughs> Please. That's like you know. I, I think I need to leave the cliffhanger right here all right. for uh, all so you who are here go, to go. come and see the talk itself. Yeah, there you go. Now everyone go to the talk. It's at four o'clock, I believe. Yes. It's at four o'clock. Okay. And um, you know it. And this speaks a lot to our mission, really, in Developer Relations Day, which is about our current wonderful community that we have here and really unifying them on the Cisco platform with this net new audience that we're trying to reach with the enterprise application developers. We have such complex problems to solve today with cybersecurity hacks, hybrid work, multi-cloud, and we can only really be successful with that if we can break down some of those silos. So we've got a lot to talk about there. Um, I'll just leave it at that. That's your sneak peek. So <laughs> Please come to yeah. talk if you're here. I think that works. I think that works. Okay. I'm, I'm excited. So developer.cisco.com is where Devna started, right? This is your one-stop shop for everything APIs. I heard there's some makeover to developer.cisco.com. Oh, my gosh. Um, can you tell us what our users can do today out there on our new site? Oh, well, users can do all the wonderful things you've been doing, sandboxes. Oh, and actually, Learning Labs. Learning Labs has been updated. It's a really wonderful experience where you can get in, try things out, and if you get stuck, it will actually model the solution for you, and then you can try it again. I love, love, love how we've elevated that up. But beyond that, we've actually completely refreshed the home page to make it, one, diverse. It's a beautiful page, but also just reflects the fact that we're expanding our mission to include both infrastructure and network engineers, as well as that software developer, making sure that we have content for both audiences in a meaningful way. Nice. So get on your phone, check it out. If you're here or if you're live, head over to developer.sysl.com. It looks yeah, pretty cool. Check it out. Yeah, thanks, Kareem. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Grace. Um, and unfortunately, we are out of time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but we can't end until I give you the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you throw the popcorn at us. Got one. <laughs> so thank you, Grace, for joining us uh, for episode 72 and our first Great. live Snack Minute Live. Um, and snackers, join us again next week or in 30 seconds for our next episode of DevNet Snack Minute. Thank is, you, Grace. Is there, Thanks, anything you wanna, is there anything you want to leave the, the audience with uh, before you go? Developer.cisco.com. Go, go, yeah, go. Check it out. <laughs> Learn. Right. Thank, thank you, you Grace. Grace. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Cheers.